Hmm. What other thing could it eat? Crash. Hmm. Some sort of what? stoat, perhaps, or a dwarf, or a <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if only, perhaps, there might be something akin to what it has now cased its body into. Something metallic. Beetle so it's okay. eating the stone itself. Oh, interesting. Okay, so okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so it's not bulking up on muscle; it's bulking up on defense. That makes sense. Okay. Well, how does it trap? <laughs> to play Minecraft down there and just doing t tunnel mining. Quick question: You think I want it and roll me a investigation? I think that's the most appropriate. Yeah. If I get guidance, I would add that. Mm. I don't. I don't know if I get guidance for this because I wasn't. I didn't have guidance when I spotted the thing. So. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. No. Yeah. Um. Mm. The problem you're running into is, well, it's creating pathways, right? It's yeah. making new areas. It's opening the area up underneath. Hell, with enough time, it might cave the whole place in. Right. And you begin thinking about it, and then, well, anatomy dictates physiology, as they like to say. So what adaptations does it have? Well, it certainly has developed it. large ears, like a bat. So tremor sense, it might not have, but echolocation, that seems likely. Right. Like a bat. I mean, the Eurothax has already had that sort of sonic detection sense, so now it's just mm -hmm. hyper amplified down there. Yeah, which is why I'm yeah, saving uh, miles on miles on miles. My what was it? My flashbang for the uh... the one where it might have the most impact. Exactly. That's fair. Yeah, I don't think uh, using that against the one in the water would be as effective hmm. for a number of different reasons. About an hour? Huh? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. My wife's whinging. Mm, shame. Uh, so, you know how whales like communicate by, like, like the just boo noises, like, get the go for miles? Mm -hmm. You think we could lure it in with some kind of noise like that? Or you haven't done your homework? Right, you What do you want about? Go do your homework. You have 53 minutes. Make them count. Yes. Collective parenting. <laughs> the, They're I trying to bully you too. Good. Mm -hmm. Them know that. The well call Why I did you just say I? Straight I, student. Straight I. <laughs> Australian? Okay, yeah, I guess so. Gross. Put them upside down. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all good. Uh, whale call is interesting. Uh, I don't think that's likely, given that we have no clue what this thing sounds like. Mm -hmm. Right, because whale calls so, are specific. Yeah, this one specifically. <laughs> oh, also, that whale call is usually to call like a mate or something. I like think that. you have, have touched on something very important. However is that whale calls go a long way because of some specific feature, and that is the fact that sound travels faster and further underwater. Something that I'm sure will not be very important when you're fighting an underwater urethac. No, not at all, no. This thing will know where we are. We don't need to bait it, like... We need a lure. It. It's just gonna know where we are. This thing is trying to bulk up. Anything in the water is a, th especially something big in the water is gonna be a snack for it. That that said, this this is like a really proud creature, right? It, it, like, oh yeah, it's a spiteful creature. It has a lot of spite. Wait if somehow someone here knew the Dark One's language, calling it wow, like mean names and taunting <laughs> it might have it come running. 
Maybe call them oh, a bitch in the English. dark one's language. Oh, if only, if only. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fluent. Damn, you got bullied out of the sky. <laughs> I was gonna say we could just drop a shit ton of food in the water and poison it. The Erica approach. I mean, hell, if we have enough time, we could just do exactly what Erica did and keep poisoning it up until it stops mm. eating the stuff. Cor like, according to Oni, like, we have time, so. Or we can just give, oh, or we can just give her one really too. big batch of toxin right before we fight it. Seems like some interesting plans. Hmm. There's not any f uh, fauna in the water that's toxic, right? Not like Sebastian's hometown. This is like just normal fish out here and shit. Uh, yeah, out here it's it. You haven't seen anything particularly toxic, but it's not like you've been like Surfing. swimming around in there. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Can I test a pH meter or amount in the water? <laughs> So we have a way of trapping it, different avenues of dealing with it, evacuating its body when the time comes. Now it's a question of how many advantages can we stack in our favor with prep. And who'd be making the, the toxins? I can try my hand at them. Mm. The toxins in the water. Yeah. Bradford has some... Some Verica's notes, right? Uh, no? I mean, I yes. I have some experience with it. Uh, I can assist. And if I you want know. to apply it to food, then it'd probably pass off to me anyways. I don't really have poisoner's proficiency of alchemists of not. <laughs> I'm good in alchemy, but I'm... I mean, I Looks know. towards Buyak, who probably has poisoner's kit. Okay. I, I could try to make something poisonous, but all I got is alcohol. Mm. Does al does alcohol <laughs> affect dark ones? <laughs> yeah, that's a question nobody's ever asked. I mean, I feel no. I definitely feel one hundred percent. A ranger's you can asked. Can make it. alcohol poisonous. Yeah, alcohol is yeah just poisonous, and you can make an <laughs> an anesthetic toxic too, uh, and dangerous if you just apply enough of it. Yeah, you guys everything's a everything's a toxin. It's all dose dependent. <laughs> Anyone have a poisoner's kit at all? Sebastian does. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. This is his, this is actually his home turf. Aside yeah, from like yeah. geographical coordinate. Yeah. So there's one thing that you definitely know. Like, if there's one way to poison something that devours the river creatures, the easiest way is to find the things without scales. Right, things that have a different defense mechanism than outright harder to attack and bite into. Right. They hold poisons the best. Wait a minute. We have... If we're those sneaky enough, we have the best source of toxin of all. Back at the tower. I'll just all the shit. If we can just take some of their stuff, oh, we have being to detected. travel all the way back and then all the way over here. Oh my god! Clint would, I don't think Clint would echo idea. like we just left there. Sebastian would be like, "I'm sorry, does that fucking matter?" <laughs> we would you rather do travel eight miles there and back, or lose someone because you failed at preparation. That makes a point. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, well, you just march back from there, Sebastian, who's been running around here for his goddamn life, is like, I'm I'm really sorry. Here, let me find the tiniest violin to play for you. <laughs> I do not see the problem. So is that is that the plan? Go get it. Well, the thing is, like, they're... How did they apply to us? It was just on their weapons, right? It just had, like, a natural... It was just on really. their natural, nasty, chitinous selves. 
We... Ah, god damn it! We fed all their bodies to the planet. Yeah. Exactly. Damn it! Well, there's at least two left. <laughs> We're not gonna go we, deal we with that. We have to harvest no the mother for shit. We're not going. To... Okay, that one. That one's. Just, that one nearly mocked us. Let's not do that one. Uh -huh. Right? Like, there's no difference between stealing like a dead body, or versus fighting the chat amongst them. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to get fucking wrecked again. Yeah, I don't yeah, want no. to have a child that's a bug, so no. <laughs> yeah, if there, if there were a dead body, then yeah, just like go steal that, but not 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 worth fighting. Another yeah. fight. Yeah, it's like so we just have to make our own toxins. I will do my best to help. Oh no, 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 no more, no more no. of that, no more of that. No, 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 no need no. not. You do not yeah, have a child bad. to get back at someone. Bad. Bad. God damn it. <laughs> Bad. Okay, so not so. Yeah, we're not <laughs> going to go back to the tower. We can begin collecting if if there are any local samples for toxins. Viper does still have some poisons, but he's he's really trying to save those for the bone collector. Uh. <laughs> so what's the play? We we making it, I'm pretty sure, right? We're making yeah. it. Yeah, okay. It's gonna take us some setup, right? So like to, to get all this demolition work pre planned, like we're not doing that in like the next hour. All the poison making, we're not doing that in the next hour, maybe even two or whatever. Can we find like a base camp location to set absolutely. up at? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I, I would imagine like at the base of this rock, there's an uneven outcropping that you could dig out a little to sort of create a space in there. Somewhere unseen by the sky. Correct. Hopefully. Not deep enough that you're sending tremors. Stop. Oh, shit, that's right. As you sort of make camp there, collect your thoughts, what, what do y'all pitch to each other? Definitely mm. The first thing we should be in working on is the toxin. Mm -hmm. I can begin going to collect samples. In the meantime, you guys should begin readying yourselves with the explosives to cause these collapses. Watchman Jenny, you will be instrumental for such. Though unfortunately, you won't be able to join me swimming around in dangerous waters. Mm. As much as I'd like to do that, I understand my role. Huh. Did you just make fucking make a joke? What is a joke? <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> Are you no. Oh, oh, fine. No. Yes. One. One more. Okay. Did you know before the invention of the crowbar, crows just drank it? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna jump that in the actually, water. That was actually pretty good. Don't lie. Can, can I insight check him? See if he actually thinks. <laughs> you know, you know, he does it laugh. pretty good every time. <laughs> 17. <laughs> What's it good? Damn! Does he believe you know? you know, he thought it was good? Oni does seem to enjoy Sarah's <laughs> jokes. As much as O does not. <laughs> Unlike. That's something that was pretty funny. Me. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Everyone else. Unlike God. <laughs> Bradford is the, the sky's grown. <laughs> the same heal you <laughs> Zamas groans. Which one of okay, you is capable of swimming? Bradford raises a hand. Perfect. You'll also be Here's... instrumental in identifying toxic ingredients. Here's a question for you. Hmm. On a assessment time. Given our performance against the other year, how well do you think you can do against a strong? <laughs> That was... Yes, that to everyone? To everyone. Uh, I, that was only like... I, one level ago? It was oh, It was only one... I don't think we leveled up. Did, we level up? No, the runt y'all just fought. 
No, yeah. yeah no, oh, compared that, to no. that one. Oh, I thought you meant like the. Sorry. Yes, because he was. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I misunderstood. Um. We got think, it this time. I think at that scenario we were actually. Well, we were cut off guard and not exactly in our best elements. I think with what we have going forward, we could handle this one. If if it's in the water, I don't know if my arrows are going to be effective. Right? Probably not, but that's where the toxin come in. But I, Perhaps it might be from your descriptions of these belts so far. Sound travels faster underwater, so they might still have their usage. Right. Might be able to discombobulate it, but um, just no damage. That being said, don't expend these limited belts if you well, need we, to. We only have the, two left. The <laughs> other qualities in this location. Maybe save it for that. Um. If it's going to be in the water, it does I mean we might be able to shock it to death. So I ask you this. If we're looking for a toxin, would it be easier to go back and collect those disgusting fetid creatures to use? If it'll significantly weaken this one. If you believe yourself capable of collecting it. I would personally recommend it to ask. I'm not getting jumped not by the bone collector. Exactly. No. Mm -hmm. The bone collector is around, it's jumping you one way or another. It constantly kept up with me, if I'm being honest with all of you. If it jumped you on the way back, you're not escaping it. Mm. No. Worry yourselves on the other denizens of the tower. I don't imagine we'd have much luck escaping it in a and our size grew. True. If anyone were to escape it, it'd be Watchman Scarecrow. But he had to be decisive in losing it very quickly. Trying to outrun it, it never tires, it never exhausts. It is always chasing. Up your just... right when you believe it is gone. Did you clock how it teleports? Teleports? It appears out of nowhere. It always seems to find us. And it's too big to be as stealthy as it is. So it has to be teleportation, right? Mm. This is some of the fact that we don't know about. Short-term teleportation, perhaps. It has been following through the mist, so it is certainly likely it is yielding that to its own capacity. I mean, Sangelia burn me alive if that thing is just that quiet at its size. <laughs> Quinn looks up at the sky. Well, you weren't smart. Pulled, am pulled, out, pulled out his amulet, like someone checking the time. <laughs> come on, come on. Hey, nothing happens. Puts it away. Sebastian, can I ask you something? What is it, Watchman Jenny? Um, I'm assuming you didn't have your eyes, eyes trained on it at all times, and that's why... I mean, that's why it felt like it was so fast and kept gaining on you, right? So that's why you weren't able to see why it was so fast. Correct. Theory, possibly it just... When you look away, it's able to kind of... Dis not the... What's the word I'm looking for? But it's able to gain on you faster when you do look away from it at that point. What, it's, it's... like acknowledging it slows it down? Kind of. Mm, I doubt that to be the case. It feels like it'd be some If it were faster point. chasing me when I was looking away, it would make gestures at Oni more noise. Unless it's somehow... As he says, that quiet. I was only able to really lose it by the light of Magville. Mm. 
stopped it. <laughs> Perhaps we might be able to put that to use later. But for the time being, let us contend ourselves with the aquatic Yarthax. Right. <clears throat> but it is... It is good practice for all of you to stay vigilant. So it is good. Looks at you. To call that out. So, uh, we gotta go back to Bug Tower. We're looking for poison. They certainly have it in spades and they're fed a diseased creatures. Mm -hmm. Would be effective. But if we fail, well, that might just be it for some of us. If we bring Ward and Viper along, we'll have more backup, and we know what we're in for this time, at least. And Seraph has that spell ready, right? So we wouldn't have to be afraid for as long. Mm hmm. Right. Prep some protection from poison. If we're going to be winning on ward, can we just ask maybe Rocket Spec? Maybe we can just get him help? I mean, Potions and stuff? Lists of ingredients, we could probably potentially find it around. Mm, yeah. Here? This mountain? Here. Doubt it. That said, the captain knows the situation. He's not going to leave us hanging. This seems, well, seems worse than our reports indicated at first. Captain Solstice did say if we can get some research notes back, he'd start helping us ready some gear. Looks like it's Sebastian. I think we got some research, right? Not. That's typically the way he rules. Well, I'm glad I, he uh, didn't give us some freezing grenades. <laughs> Looks at the water. <laughs> but I wonder if that's helpful. What about lightning grenades? Not that I'd be interested in. I'd be good against water and against metal. Problem is, it's still a grenade. Yeah. Does anyone have anything that? Can emulate lightning. Uh, Jericho, uh, <laughs> uh, how much lightning do you need? And he gestures towards uh, the guillotine, which is wreathed in lightning at the moment. Oh. Um. Shit. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't know. It's just a theory. I but if I could constantly activate that and keep shocking them, that'd be some nice residual damage. Possibly. Would that be feasible? Seems good to me. Whatever advantage we can get, we should use. It's certainly going to be stronger, so we need to be smarter. Hmm. So, the plan is what then? We go deal with the tower, we wait for Ward, deal with the tower, or abscond with a body and not need to wait for Ward or whatever. Requisition some gear from the HQ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, is that okay. sort of the plan y'all want to go with? Is it's definitely set a setup? It is a slower roll. Certainly. It is. But well, you're probably mm -hmm. looking at like. A Couple week and a half. Yeah, sounds about right. Holy shit. We might be able to survey the if, bugs, though, in that time, see if we could oh, learn any hey. information off of them. In in the meantime, uh, while y'all been discussing this, I made a map. Hey! Oh my hey. god, let's go. 
as well as uh if I love if we have that time uh yeah, could we great. also try to figure out what the fuck to do with the other ones and see if we could get multiple things going at the same time that would be good yeah or is that that, you know what y'all could s try to scout out some of the underground to get a better idea oh, this place is gigantic we got two rangers by class and two rangers by faction in the party so this is definitely the group to do it wouldn't mind doing some scouting that rangers are so sure. cool if only i played them more <laughs> that's where i put my ranger if i had one <laughs> um aside um, from the hideout we just had which by the way that makes a fantastic safe house someone like just saying for that side of the, the honestly, region yeah. Um, Aside from the magic tunnel at the back. Well, that's exactly what I'm getting at. Are there any other entryways into the underground? Uh, I'm sure Sebastian would have came across a few of them. Roger, just making sure that it's not like... It's just gonna... There's one in the mountainside. You must go through the grand halls in order to enter into it. There you go. Yeah, he'd be about this big. Halls. That's a hall hall to the I'm sorry, this is... That. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Gigantic sized creature, or colossal sized creature. So it's a 7x7 seven <laughs> seven box. I mean, he's the biggest one. He is the biggest one. Which, whatever you know, is that he's probably the slowest flyer. The question is does that apply to swim as well? <laughs> does water resistance slow him down? You know, whales are pretty uh, quick. Whales are pretty quick, right? Hmm. Yeah. So, is that the plan? Go scout out the underground? Get a good idea? Scout underground. Set up here, figure out what you need to do to collapse this area? We are at the, um... Midway of the map, more or less, right? Uh, this like correct strip of land between the rivers. So this is a a pretty good central focal point for operation. So we could set up here in a bit of a long term. If only we had Mule and all of them. Oh my God, Mule would be perfect for these fights. Yeah, <laughs> you'd, uh... have so much, you'd have so much setup that we oh can use. Oh my God, I miss her boy. I mean, if we wait a, for fuck's sake, if we wait a week and a half, Victor will show up here. At that rate, that's what I mean. Go Fairfax, kill him or something. But yes, Quint, the max debuff does go away. Quint's okay. HP buff goes away after you complete a short rest. A short so, rest. Okay. Yeah, he pops Specific those wording. when you need it. It's meant to not be too powerful. But it's meant to provide enough impact when you need it. So yeah, those are, all the HP buffs would have reset. So is that the the go to? Figure out how to set up a a, a spa hazard here. Get more intel on the underground. Report it back. Report it back. See what we can requisition up from Captain Solstice. Uh, and Ward could be the deliverer of such. Okay. Yeah, very good. Research the bugs too while we're at it. So much. So much time to do in a week. So yeah, how long did this endeavor take us? These, like, some the miles. Day? That ten miles, ten miles hours? of forestry and mist. Yeah, you're right. This this mist, this is a little river. bit. Dead. It's probably like six hours. Okay. Uh, okay. Like so set up hazard. This is research underground. This is kind of your jam. This would have been the hardest part. This would have probably been about the same equivalency as, as the whole thing. Got that sounds yeah. right. Rivers are so bitches. river path. River path is the way to go. Right, going through dense forest with heavy mist is just asking for trouble. Do we want to make like a checklist? Just so we know like 
because we're probably going to wrap up before we get to all this stuff. Right. So yeah, who who is your scouting squad, or are y'all going as a full unit? I'm assuming not, right? Uh, I will say it's easier to travel like two it's to three, far, right? Yeah. And it attracts far less attention. Yeah. If you have two to three, you could probably play in a maneuver things. I'm a scout squad kind of guy. All right, who's the who are the Rangers again? We got Sebastian. Oh, I'll, I'll be a scout. Team Booyah to Team Viper. Um, we got Bradford. Yo. Or uh, who else? Aren't you just saying Bradford's bad? It's still. Uh, I can. I can. Wait, can move fast <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> Scoop. Uh. Yeah, I give myself He's a boost for that, but I still would only have, like, a six. But I can also give myself, or I guess, a group of people fucking pass. Out. I will say, Oni will just let you know, if you give him enough time, he can figure out how to perfectly trap this thing. Okay, so but do they have to stay here in order to do that? Correct. It'll take him a couple days, but he can map this whole thing out and make it a sure fire right. plan. Yeah, so he'll analyze the shit out of the yeah. terrain. Yeah, honestly, that's if we're spending like a week doing okay. that research, that's perfect. Yeah. I think factional yeah. rangers want a team, or class rangers want a team. Keeps it even that way. Yeah, so Sebastian into Brandon Flora, and then you also have Clint and Jericho. They are also pretty fast if they wanted to go out and do shit. Oh, Clint is curious as, as, as all.